It's summertime in Belleville, a beautiful time to be in the Quinty region. And you know, when you think of summer, you think of the boys of summer. Boys of summer baseball, when I think of baseball, I think sometimes you need a refresher. So what does the manager do in a baseball game? He calls the dugout. What do I do when I want some refreshment? I go to the dugout. And ooh, that's good. at the bar at the dugout in Belleville. Of course, this place is known for a great bar atmosphere, kind of the place where, I hate to use the term, everybody knows your name, but it's, it really is like that. And we're here with Jen French, and Jen is the owner of this restaurant. And I think what it was is this part of town needed a family atmosphere, kind of non-shame, just great restaurant to come and enjoy themselves every day of the week. It's clean, it's bigger, more accessible parking. It definitely took off, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the history. It was your family that started this place. Absolutely, my father and uh, Mary Walsh started it back in 1993, and it's been going since. Yeah. I took over in 2000, and here we are. Here we are. Here we are, with lots of support from family and friends and staff, amazing staff. Uh, just got too big. Happy One of the things days. I was reading about this restaurant is when you go to a, a restaurant, you get a, a, a waiter or a waitress and they come to you, but you have a kind of different way of running running the service here. Absolutely. Every customer is each one of our servers' responsibility. It's all about customer service. It's all about you get to the customer when they're ready. And they're ready to have their drinks taken. And that way, no one waits. Food goes out hot. It gets expedited immediately. You don't have to worry about getting cold food. Someone's there to take it out to you at all times. Yeah, and that, that way, it kind of gives everybody the responsibility to make sure every customer is happy. Try, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, which is such an important part in the restaurant business because I, I don't think people understand how competitive it really is. Okay, let's talk a little bit about one thing, and sometimes in the winter months, it's hard to get dinner here on a Saturday night because you are so community-oriented and I must have had like 20 servings of prime rib on Saturday nights here through various hockey teams and things like that. Absolutely. We do all our fundraisers on Saturday and now Sunday nights. It's been so popular. Uh, I bet, but Saturday night, that's a night for a restaurant. I mean, you think Friday and Saturday night. Why did you decide to give those like Saturday and Sunday to the community? Way back in the beginning, we weren't that popular. We weren't that well known. We needed to get people through the door and that was one of the great ways to do it, by doing a meal at cost for a charity or a fundraising event. And One of the things I love here is if you want a glass of wine, you almost need a straw to get to the top. It's, you're not one we of those. We definitely challenge you. <laughs> we fill it all the way to the top. It's a full nine ounce glass of wine. Yeah, you're not one of those. Well, there you go. Here's your little shooter glass of wine. So everybody's happy and of course, lots of different kinds of beer. And when I came in, one of the things I saw too is that, like everybody else, you have the, the big domestics, but also you're doing some craft brew in here as well. We have a few craft beers, yeah. uh, absolutely. So that Whatever the, the customers want. We yeah. typically provide for the customers. But it's not about little dots on your plate. It's not about, it's, this is about a real restaurant, real meal. <laughs> you should never food. leave hungry. Yeah. No. All right, well, you know, uh, the only place I can go right now is the kitchen. I think we need to make some food here at the incredible dugout in Belleville. And here we are in the kitchen of the dugout here in Belleville, and you know, this place is amazing for lunch, it's amazing for dinner, it's amazing for so many different reasons. And we're gonna talk about one of the, the great lunch trios that they do here, which is the Reuben. And Jen, we have Mitza who's gonna cook this for us. And look, she's wearing her Hockey Night in Canada shirt because this is a, a true sports bar as well. Lots of games always on TV. And you know what's good with games? sandwiches. All right, so let's uh, let's have meat to make us a Reuben. So this is uh, smoked meat, Montreal style smoked meat. There's a law, by the way, if you don't say style next to Montreal, the owner of Schwartz's comes and punches you in the face. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So we're going to heat this up and we got some sauerkraut. And, and Jen, this is one of your most popular dishes. It is. 
and it's served with a choice of five different sides. Yeah. Today they're doing up some french fries and some onion rings to go with it, but you can get chef, Caesar, Greek, sweet potato fries, or soup. That's amazing. Lots of different sides, lots yeah. of choices. And that's, that gives everybody the choice, right? Absolutely. So that's if you why want it's it, so popular. If you want to eat healthier and have a nice salad or a bowl of soup with your sandwich, soup and sandwich, that sounds like a thing. We should market that, okay. So we got some fries. Sweet potato fries. That's all right. Extremely popular. Everybody loves the sweet potatoes. The pink sauce. The pink secret sauce and some onions. Look at this lunch. This is this is fantastic. Mm -mm. Immediately you got the smoked meat, mustard, the cheese, and of course the sauerkraut taste. Anything on my face? Absolutely delicious. Great job. Yeah, well, of course there is. A little bite of onion ring. You want to come for a perfect trio lunch? Can't get better than this here at the dugout in Belleville. So we're still in the kitchen here at the dugout in Belleville. We had a great lunch trio. Now, one of the amazing things to do is come here for dinner. And you know, in, in the world, you can pay like 80 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks for an entree now. One of the cool things that you do is you keep the prices reasonable so people can come and eat. Absolutely. Rib night is one of the most famous uh, reasonable price items we have on the menu. Yeah, and it's not cheap because it's high quality, it's just, affordable. So one of the, the mantras I know of the dugout is that everybody can come and enjoy the food here. Try to keep it reasonable, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Food is fresh. Also, um, you have great nights for people, right? Monday night is shrimp night. And Tuesday night we do fish and chips, a pound of haddock, fries, coleslaw and tartar. Wednesday night's ribs. Thursday night's our wing night. And Friday night we do steak night. It's very steak popular. night. And like the steak is like, how much is the steak down? $8.99. It's a six ounce strip loin fresh from bibs. They bring it to us that afternoon. $6.99. I can't make toast at home for $6.99. Okay. $8.99. Let's try that again. $8.99. I can't make toast at home for $8.99. All right. But you mentioned rib night. That's what we're gonna do here today. These look like back ribs. Baby back pork. Baby back ribs, fantastic. Because, you know, a lot of times you get side ribs, which are good too, but the, the filet mignon of ribs is obviously the baby backs. Do them in beer, so it's about an inch in the bottom of the pan. Okay, an inch of beer in the bottom of the pan. Seems pretty good. Literally just sprinkle some spice right on them. Yeah, I'm not sure you're allowed to do that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Cooks aren't allowed to do that. All right, well, I, I clearly don't work here. <laughs> All right. And just one of those little cups, we just sprinkle it over the top and try to evenly sprinkle it. All right. A little rub, per se. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Cover right. that in tin foil and throw it in the oven. Okay. They cook for two and a half, three and a half hours. Nice, slow, yeah. low and slow, as Absolutely. they would say. So that just gets them nice and uh, tender. Okay. We come on over to the grill. We, we remember Mita from before. All right. Look at this. They come out of the pan. So we have some cooked ribs, cut up to three hours. And of course, right on the grill. This is real meat. This is not. This is not like pre-packaged ribs. This is the real deal. It's Sixteen dollars. You get a whole rack of baby backs on the grill. And of course, you want to get that that grill taste in. You want to heat them up. Get some charcoal, some caramelization on those ribs. And of course, I assume we're going to sauce them up a little. We bit. are. You have your choice of honey garlic, smoky barbecue, tequila lime, or the new maple and spice for Canada's one fifty. Oh well. Wow. And so what's your favorite? Tequila lime. Tequila lime. Tequila lime. She owns a restaurant. She needs a tequila. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. 
All right. So we get them all saucy. Saucy. Unlike sassy, which is me. You've been back here with sassy I think, too. I think Jen <laughs> can get a little sassy from time to time, but I could be wrong. Just once in a while. Once in a while. All right, and of course, people love fries. Fries are, you know, there's a whole gluten-free thing going on, right? Absolutely. And you guys actually have a whole fryer dedicated for gluten-free gluten food. Products. That's amazing stuff. We carry the gluten-free bread as well. We definitely are allergy aware. Yeah. We carry nut-free and milk-free products as well. And it's somebody, all part of the menu. Do we sauce the bottom? Absolutely, go right ahead. Okay. The this second one. one, the one in the back, sure. All right. What is too? How much is too much barbecue sauce? That's too Marcel, much. Marcel, is that too much? Okay. We've been doing a lot of these shows, and this is the first time I, I might actually cry. We have a beautiful plate of fresh cut french fries, Barbecue sauce, tequila lime barbecue sauce ribs, baby backs fall off the bone. So here we go. Let's give this a taste. Look, fall off the fall off the bone. Not even a, I can't even eat the bone. So sticky fingers, Lauren. We'll just take some meat. Look at that. That is tender, beautiful baby back consistency, that's how it should be. Mmm. Delicious, Jen had a good choice by taking the tequila lime so it has a little bit of kick, just a little bit, and uh, just a perfect amount of sweetness too. I don't think you're gonna find better ribs, not just in Belleville, but within the next 50 miles from here. And these french fries are delicious too. And I love how the sauce will seep into the fries a little bit and make them good. Mm -mm -mm. Come down Wednesday night for ribs. You can't beat it here at the dugout. Mm.